Frappy's not good, you say. You're struggling with her? Do not fear. The number one Frappy main is here. Welcome to my concise guide on the frog. To start, let's talk about her wind conditions. Stay in the move, be wherever you need to be, and pay attention to your health. Only a few characters can keep up with Frappy, and hitting her with alpha sh shots can be hard if you're a new player. You should never not be doing something, even if what you're doing is heading towards a new location, to loot, pinning, pinging an item for a teammate, or healing yourself. The more mindful you are of your enemies and who your team is attacking, the more likely you are to win games and go positive in your ranking. Because Froppy is a supportive character, you'll want to make sure you have a resurrection card if it's feasible for the situation. For example, if you're waiting for a box to drop and you're in a collapse zone, destroy buildings to spawn civilians, and also look for them throughout the area, while staying vigilant for enemy encounters. Saving civilians will also give you a full team shield if the civilian shirt is blue, or a full team heal if the shirt is green. Using a team shield after resurrecting your squad is a great idea, as it tops you all off without needing to scavenge for loot again before entering the next fight. Your lose conditions are positioning incorrectly, getting greedy, or playing independently. Your game plan is to support your team by keeping them alive, resurrecting them, collecting or pinging items, and healing them. You need to chase weak targets and assist teammates or enemies in finishing off opponents that the team is focused on. In the final circle, pick off whoever your team is focused on and keep them alive using items. Or if you're alone, try to pick off who you can before going down. As for the mental, try not to be discouraged by getting one shot or two shot by say all for one or Denki, the list goes on. This is a common occurrence when playing in a chaotic battle royale setting where there are many factors going into your success and when you're playing a low health character. Frappy strengths are mobility, stealth, item gathering, support, and choosing your fights. Her weaknesses are that she has the lowest health pool in the game at 250 HP, less than average damage output, and she's very vulnerable to stuns and combos. Speaking of combos, you can combo up to three alphas into an air beta, ground beta combo for the maximum amount of damage, and you can also slide kick or melee into grounded beta if you're out of alphas. So, because this is more of an exhaustive guide and meant to kind of tell you everything outside of matchups, I might do a video on that later. I'm going to talk past my documented subtitles. You'll notice that I usually add subtitles to my videos or descriptions that are nearly equivalent to what I say in the video, but this time I'm going to try for something different, so bear with me here. So I want to add some things. Everything I said was correct, but when it comes to mental, here's the thing when it comes to Froppy. A lot of people don't play Froppy because they think she can't do damage or she can't do any of that, but the truth is she very much can. Obviously, you're not going to do as much damage as, like, say, Bakugo or Deku or whoever, but you're still, you still have a big damage output. And there are a lot of situations where the enemy just straight up can't hit you. Like, one thing I did not mention in my script because I didn't know how to word it is to keep in mind to have situational awareness. And by that, I mean, like, if you're alone, but you do want to win. I, I wouldn't recommend leaving the match if you die, obviously. That's not cool. But say it's just you, and then there are two teams remaining. One team has a single person on it, and the other team has two people on it. So what you would do in that situation is you would try to find who the one person is and sort of team up with them. That's what I meant earlier by focusing who your enemies are focusing, as if you're by yourself, your enemies can be your teammates. Now, of course, I don't encourage teaming. It's not really the best thing to do unless, like, unless, like, you're both, like, solos in a ranked match and, like, both your teams left, then sure, drive yourself crazy. But in the most situations, the only situation where you'll want to quote-unquote team up with your enemies is to kind of use them to your advantage, like, you can let them do all the damage, and then you could just kind of be spying from afar, and then when you see that, say it's a Compress, and he ran out of cooldowns because he doesn't have a level 9 Gamma, you could, uh, you could read his Gamma and then go up to him and he dies. His beta, his beta can't counter your Beta, and your melee attacks go past his Beta, and even if you accidentally shoot an Alpha at him, 
all it really will affect, it doesn't really shoot back at you. But that's a different story. Another thing is the mentality. I, I, I do strongly emphasize this. This game is new and it's free to play and it has microtransactions regarding cosmetics and the only way to get items is gambling and I'm sure you understand that this is one of those games and if not then I'm here to say that it's one of those games that can be a bit crazy. It is really fun once you get competitive with it but just keep in mind you know take breaks when you need to and just you know keep on riveting on. Ribbit.